gotta go kill her. No, no, <laughs> you ain't gotta do that. You just gotta wait for the Lord, man. You throw up curses with people that's going for the and I, and I, Just be patient, man. You know what? Lord Friday, we supposed to get married. I bought right. weeds and every fucking thing. Right, right. Well, she a hustler, man. Yeah. She a hustler. I was man. just literally told by these people in this house up on Cleveland Avenue right. that she was at their house this morning with another man right. who right. they was in fucking for the last eight months right. while I was in a relationship with. Okay, okay. You got that? Check this out. Check yes, this sir. out. Yes, sir. It says, Ciroc 92. Just give not thy soul unto a woman to set her foot upon that substance. Oh, you want the one? Yeah, that's the one too. Okay. It says, Meet not for harlot, at least thou fall into her snares. Use not much with the company of a woman that is a singer, at least thou be taken with her attempts. Gaze not on a maid, that thou fall not by those things that are precious in her. Give not thy soul unto harlots, that thou lose not thine inheritance. Right, there you go. So, not, not receiving instructions, the world what falls off. That? This is the Bible. Oh, what book? Sirach. This is Sirach, the book of Sirach. Sirach, never right. heard of it. Well, there were books removed out of the Bible because they deep, they, they full of this fire. That's the King James Apocrypha. Well, anyway, like it's like you're saying, man, the world ignoring the Lord's instructions, totally ignoring them. So ignoring them, that's what happens to you. He falls victim to all kinds of madness of this world, man. And this woman is one of his main, that's a badass weapon to go this weapon. Put in this door and punish us, man. This evil-ass woman, they scam us, man. They straight up scam us. Like I said, you hit him and leave, man. You know? I want to hit her, but I don't want to hit her like, like that. I, said, I want listen, to listen, literally put my Listen, fist listen in the place. Lord don't let nobody get away with no wickedness, man. Okay. You know, just be patient and let the Lord deal with it. And he's going, just because you don't see it, do, you see the Lord uh, uh, punish her. Have, you believe in the Lord, right? Yeah. Okay, so he's going to get her, man. He's going to get her, man. You know? <laughs> Ain't nothing worse than a thief, man. You know, man, probably on Social Security. <laughs> What do you say? Bought rings? Yeah. Damn, man. Right. That's crazy, man. He scurried off. He, he found her where? Like, somebody's like house? Like another river? Like a golfer, too? He probably, he probably, he was someone's nuts, too. Right, like, right. But he's going, he's going to kill her, bitch. We're going to hear about him. He might kill her. Yeah, we're going to hear about him in the movies, man. They say they believe him. They don't believe him. They really don't believe him. Well, just so me, motherfuckers, I wish I could just take my bat and just say, okay, hold up, hold up, stay right the pile, you know? But the Lord gonna get them, you know? You Those of us gonna stand, who's standing strong, swift before his word, we're gonna receive power and, and getting our enemies that did us wrong and looking to do you wrong again if they got the opportunity. We're gonna get them, we're gonna get to kill them motherfuckers, man. Snakes and poison. Man, you gotta be crazy getting your, your, your woman, your car. I don't give my new bill, my motherfucking watch is 1990. I don't give her my motherfucking car, man. Right. I never have gave her my car, man. Got me fucked yeah. up, man. I wake up looking at looking at this bitch every day, like, look at this bitch. I, I can imagine what she's got playing. That's why I say in my mind, I can yeah. imagine what you bitch got playing every day, man. No, I don't not, let that shit get to me, man. I gotta keep going. Man. Even if she won't totally rob you, she'll just go waste some money on some right. bullshit. I go use some of that money, go to the hotel room for that sorry ass, uh, a dog, 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 ass nigga, and get her food. This bitch is a slick. Slick. Wanna read that scripture in Proverbs? Why are you sitting close? Is that his name? I mean, the Lord laughing, though. I'm like, he laughing, though. You better off getting a prostitute. It would have been a lot cheaper. Right. Yep, yep. Hell's a lot cheaper. Yeah, you know, you probably get one for like forty dollars. Right. For the whole works. Yeah. Twenty. Twenty. Yeah, that'll do it for twenty. Yeah. Nah, that shit. Ten. Ten. Wait, I, I, man, I get you. Look, look. As a Lord, the house pushing me outside my witness. This bitch, like an older woman with a body and everything, man. She said I'm running specials today. Dollar fifty. This is just for you today. I'm running the special. Dollar fifty. A dollar. A dollar fifty. Dollar fifty. She gonna give that a Gatorade? Oh, I was like, whoa, for real. A dollar fifty. Yeah, I thought it was a joke at first because I was she was across the street, she was talking to me. I was in the car, stopped at the light, I said, oh, let me pull over. I pulled over, she ran up to me, she's like, nah, I'm not joking, I'm for real, for you. It's a special for you, baby. A dollar fifty. I gave them this five dollars just for the good laugh, man. Just for the good laugh, man, you know? I got a dollar. <laughs> I ain't called that though, bro. She working hard. Dollar fifty. Oh, that was funny. So you know, that's some samples they give out. You like the samples will come back to oh. All that little cheese sample. <laughs> this is crazy, man. But anyway, these motherfuckers talking about that. I read the Bible. I believe in the Lord. I mean, they didn't read pro Proverbs. Oh, uh, Ecclesiastes. You know? Let me get it. Tell you about these nasty ass, wicked ass hoes, man. I 
I'm gonna show y'all the words of a wise woman. Y'all be like, oh. Yeah. And, and before I used to feel for these motherfuckers that fucking drama for what you tell them. Oh, that fuck them, man. But what to say? A, a, a wicked a woman is given to a, 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 a wicked man or something like that. I man. got some scriptures for that. You know? These are instructions to follow. <laughs> Proverbs 31 and 1, the words of King Lemuel, the prophecy that his mother taught him. What my son, and what the son of my womb, and what the son of my vows. Give not thy strength unto women, nor thy ways to which destroy king. So you ain't supposed to be giving your woman no ATM machine. You know, you ain't at the home. You ain't supposed to give no cards. You no ain't got that machine, bro. That's that machine. You got a different level of money. <laughs> You got a whole machine, man. Yeah. <laughs> man. You ain't supposed to be letting your woman be in charge of the bills, in charge of the money, or nothing. Hey, you're not even supposed to let your woman have a Facebook page. If I got a woman, she ain't allowed on Facebook. Hell no. <laughs> this is a rock, 33 and 19. It says, Give not thy son and wife, thy brother and friend, power over thee while thou livest. And give not thy goods to another to repent thee and thou entreat for the same again. As long as thou livest and hast breath in thee, give not thyself over to any. Yeah, that's just being a sucker, bro. If these dudes, they so desperate to get some pussy, they'll do anything. They'll let the woman sweet talk them, flatter them with their lips. Damn, that motherfucker was 60 something years old. Yeah, he ain't no better. And she was 20 something. She running, he's supposed to run game on her. Stupid. Stupid. Ain't got to lick his hands in it. He should have all the game in his pocket, man. Run him mind, you know, get in that bitch's mind, man. I done learned from my mistakes, you know. Shoot. And I ain't repeating them. That's crazy. And what if women, what's an example? Saul was told to one of his sons, he said that she, he was a son of a uh, son. Uh, oh, man, I wish I could find him, man. Pretty much he was saying he was a son of a bitch. Yeah. I son of a bitch, I'm stupid. Oh, I got another one. Where, 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 where? <laughs> Alright, I got this uh, Proverbs uh, 2 and 10. Hey, this is your boy. This didn't happen to your boy. It says, When wisdom entereth into thine heart, and knowledge is pleasant unto thy soul, discretion shall preserve thee, and understanding shall keep thee, to deliver thee from the way of the evil man, from the man that speaketh forward things. Who leave the paths of uprightness to walk in the ways of darkness. Who rejoice to do evil and delight in the forwardness of the wicked. Whose ways are crooked and they're forward in their paths. This one right here. To deliver thee from the strange woman, even from the stranger which flattereth with her words. That's your dude, your girl. Just, you know what I mean? Yeah, she's quiet like, baby, I ain't never met no old motherfucker like you before. You hit it right, baby. Yeah, you know that. Yeah, yeah. You hit it right, baby. Yep. I love you. I'm tired of all the mother niggas. They have a fake orgasm. Be with you, buddy. Man, I ain't. I thought I'd have fucking heard it all. <laughs> but I seen stupid niggas do stupid shit like that before, though. Said my brother Paul got got by a bitch recently. Now we, he should know better. Yeah. But, you know, you gotta go through your own experience and learn that yeah. shit. Yeah. You do, you gotta go through it and learn the fucking stuff, man. That's the way to learn, man. Ain't no better way to learn something than this dude's feelings. Now y'all motherfuckers listen to the rap, you know? Even the rappers try to tell y'all, you know? That's bitches ain't crazy. shit but hoes and tricks. I thought y'all knew that. That's fucking crazy. He, can, he got what he deserved, though. Right, and this nigga I grew up with, man, he, he lived one of them. She moved another nigga in and told my ass her cousin. Oh, that's my, that's my his simple ass. I ain't letting no cousin or nobody live with me. I don't give a fuck. My niggas are right. Yeah, but what's your cousin? He still tried to hit it. Right, you can stay the night two or three days, you know, but you got to go, nigga. You got to go. But anyway, this motherfucker had to uh, nigga go to work, and he was working on long shit working for GM. He beating that pussy up all day long. Uh, and now he, she with him. He threw his ass out through the most his job with GM. That's why the Lord is cur cursing GM. These Israelites are saying what? Well, you a wicked and adulterous generation. Hey, let me read the little last piece of this. Yeah. That Proverbs 2. It's when it said, uh, talking about to deliver thee from the strange woman, even from the stranger which flattereth with her words. 
which forsaketh the God of her youth, and forgetteth the covenant of her God. For her house inclineth unto death, and her past unto the dead. Look at this. None that go unto her return again, neither take they hold of the past of life. You be bruised the rest of your life. <laughs> that's, that's a, bro. You be bruised the rest of your life, mentally fucked up. That's why a lot of these motherfuckers turn into fags, man. And your boy, he's in the past of the dead right now. He say he about to go kill the bitch. You know, he, might, he might get locked up, get in a shootout with the cops. Just judgment. You man, yeah, you can't be all surprised when a woman leave you and try to, bro. Just keep it moving. Work on yourself. Don't worry about her. You know. Uh, you got examples with uh, holy men like Samson, David, uh, you know, so on and so forth. Uh, Samson, not Samson, but uh, Solomon, all got sucked up by, by yeah, a woman. Yeah, the woman. You know what I'm saying? Hey, we gotta know how to let go. This you know? is a book of remembrance too. Yeah. Now, read this book and you look at all the examples. That's the powerful. That's the powerful. We had everything, most of them everything, but he still the one. That's crazy. When he got up in age, he was the one. He was trying to please him hold. You know, they probably nagging in his ear. Just like Samson when he told that young bitch in the secret of his power. And that's the main one into the, all that paganism shit. You know, there's a main. The main people in the paganism is what woman. Paganism. They always, that's the one main ones interested in the Greek mythology and all that shit. Oh yeah, yeah. when the thunder was going on down there, a dude was acting like walking the street, acting like Thor. Man. And, so, <laughs> and how could you worship Thor? He was the biggest jackass on the planet. It's true. <laughs> you ever read in the Norse myths? Yeah. yeah. Thor's are like an actual mental retard, yeah. and they worship. Him. I mean, they they fooling him and deceiving him left and right. His enemies. Loki was always fucking his ass up. But that's who y'all worship? A mental <laughs> retard? <laughs> yeah, I like Loki better than Thor. I don't like Loki. Nah, he's a, I don't like none of them. The Thor's a faggot and Loki's a faggot. That first one was decent. He's alright. Then it they just turn him into a faggot. How he lost his powers. So, yeah. Remember how he lost his powers? I hate that shit. You gonna make a superhero movie? Make it so the motherfuckers a superhero. Make it people real king Jezebel. Yeah. I guess the I guess the ball. Yeah. I guess I said Jezebel. Jezebel. Yeah, that's Jezebel. It's discreet. You just want to discreet. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What's that for now? Because it means, uh, it's about all, yeah. This means the Lord, but that, her Lord was actually Baal the devil. You know, but because really Baal in Hebrew, it means Lord. Like, a, we could, we're lords, you know, but the devil's called Baal too. Baal's above, Lord of the flies. Proverbs 7. Six for at the window of my house I looked through my casement and beheld among the simple ones I discerned amongst the youths. I just yeah, because you're talking about the simple ones. A young man void of understanding. I'm wondering if that's that uh, the posthumous. Remember the posthumous? Yeah. You got the posthumous and the consolians. Where are you at? Seven. Proverbs seven. Okay. Seven. And beheld among the simple ones I discerned among the youths a young man void of understanding. Passing through the streets near her corner, and he went the way to her house. In the twilight, in the evening, in the black and dark night, and behold, there met him a woman with the attire of a harlot and supple and marked. And that's how you be finding these hoes on Facebook or the internet. And you you out on a mission late at night, high. You just got you some loud. Got you uh, some, uh, what's that shit they be drinking? Some four loco. You on a mission, you know what I'm saying? To get your thing off. Mission. That's literally Yeah, you're on a mission. You ain't stopping until it's accomplished. That's how I feel like this Saturday. <laughs> I did, man. I feel like Herbert picked me up. I got three bottles sitting in the picture. Three bottles in the picture. Man, Herbert, keep why, why you keep doing that? Not one bottle, man. He like three different things, man. And put them in a backpack carrying that shit around. Yeah, that's for trouble. Anyway, he had me on fucking wanting to go to the spirit world. <laughs> this Saturday, man. But anyway, we went on a mission looking for some hoes. Look, fuck around about 12 midnight. Yeah, read that scripture before you do that. We, we end up just cussing bitches out in the parking lot. 
this, that's a hole, that's a hole. The same thing we was doing at the conference, yeah. man. That's a hole. There's some old hoes. We were drunk as fuck. Columbus, look, Columbus Finest was laughing at every goddamn thing, man. Right? We in the car drunk as hell, riding up the hall up on the car. Right? We just drunk as fuck. I just wanted to get out and have some fun. Right? Yeah. Release some of that stress, boy. It says, with the, uh, with, the with the attire of a harlot, you know, what are those, uh, those, uh, those aerobic pants they wear? Oh, and them old tight ass black pants. Right, them, right. Uh, I don't know what the fuck it's called. A lot of them don't wear panties on them, man. You just see everything. Even a fat woman wear them. It's subtle. It's subtle. It's subtle. Um, um, like, like, sweet. Act the timid. I gotta look it up again. Yeah. She is loud and stubborn. Her feet are like not in her mom's house. Oh yeah, this is cause you probably hook a lot of times you hook up with these women, they not even telling you they got a man. You know, they got kids, they gonna they gonna go out with you, leave their babies at the house. Yeah. <laughs> like the bitch says, this ain't my kids, or ain't my kids. These bitches ain't shit, man. So, so you gotta be watching what woman you messing with. Cause you know Jake be all desperate to get that nut off. That's all he's thinking about. You know? That nut. That nut. So that nut will haunt you for the rest of your life. That nut. <laughs> if you make that first nut, you do. You chasing it the rest of your life. <laughs> Just for what? 10, 12, 15 seconds of Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord, bro. Yeah, man, so Jake be getting desperate, too. The wee hours of the night, you and Jake start getting desperate. <laughs> it start, it take anything. Must be down with the Egyptians. You know the Egyptians had sex with crocodiles. They said they perfected it. It says, she is not a stubborn, her feet abide not in her house. Now is she without, now in the street, it lieth in wait in every corner. Right, I can walk down Main Street or any street. We go to Sullivan, Main Street. Go to Cleveland. It don't matter what street. We're gonna go. We're gonna see these hoes wandering up and down the street, hooting and hollering. Now they cut. They shut down that site. Back page, man. They gotta get out now. Yep. Now they gotta get on the street, put in that work. Put in that footwork. Put in that footwork. Yeah. Foot foot they might look better though. Yeah. Put in that footwork. They get, they get toned up. Cardio. You know. They calling. See, a lot of them are calling uh, numbers that that hit them up before. They kept it on their text names. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah, that same thing happened to me too. What was this? Same thing happened to me. And I got one to show y'all, man. Uh, um, this fucking 12 year old girl. No, she was 11 years old. 11 years old. You know? 11 years old, man. Man, that sounds like my sister. My sister was out there early too. Now she on the run. Oh, she made a post on Facebook. I told you she on the five most wanted in Columbus. You know she had a brag, she put a post on Facebook, catch me if you can, bitch. Oh, y'all spoke to me, see? Yeah, well she just put posted on her Facebook page. Bragging. She don't give a fuck. They gonna get that, no, they gonna get it. She don't give a fuck. She don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that nigga. So she caught him. It says, so she caught him. Hey, your boy got caught, didn't he? He got caught in that rat trap. Got him. Yeah, got him. <laughs> Listen to these instructions. You know? Got caught in that, that rat, that rat trap, that fucking. That's a, uh, uh, what's that? A sinkhole. What's that shit called? The, uh, the quicksand. That old stinking ass pussy. It's called a sinkhole. Yeah, a sinkhole. <laughs> a sinkhole and swallow shit up your ass up. What's your boy try to say? The bottom of the pit was a black woman's pussy? Did I tell you about that? <laughs> That's what he tried. He was trying to break down Revelation. He tried to tell, oh, the bottom of the pit. <laughs> that was because he was done with his woman. So that's the kind of revelation he got. 
And his woman threw his ass right on the street. I watched it. She was throwing all his shit outside. Like, get your ass out of my motherfucking house, Why you fuck me? Just a couple of days earlier, oh, my woman loves me. She's the greatest. Yeah, she's the greatest. She's the dude. And uh, the man. What's that called? Yeah, that's what that's where it was. Right oh, that's what it's talking yeah. about. The dude, the head of the black yeah, yeah, that's what it was. Oh, that's that was two of them, though. I remember that shit. That one dude, he was a, he uh, played keyboard in the church or something. Okay. And he got tossed out, too. This bitch tossed his ass out on the street. Yeah. So I was trying to teach that boy, that black ass nigga some shit, man. I was trying to tell him shit, man, you know? Yeah, we, we, we like, like, don't look you? At you. Like, look at us like something wrong with us, man. So the most I've been is simple ass. He told him not to eat pork. He's like, it's in the Bible. He said, well, a lot of things in the Bible. Ooh, I just got a whiff of her, bro. She was uh, I swear to God. I, I smell, like, smell like soup. Oh, my God. I smell like soup. I still smell something. I stink out of here. It's a fucking shit, man. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think it was that big, that big bitch. Walk by it. I was just thinking that. He said she caught him and kissed him, and with an impudent face said unto him, I have peace offerings with me this day, have I paid my vows, therefore came I, I forth to meet thee. And that's the same thing that happened, man. They always happen, man. They, especially with me, man. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm talking to all of this, I'm talking to kids. They always, I got a nice home, I got this, I got this kind of car. Yeah. Um, I do. I like a bitch's money more than mine. Shit. Yeah, these two. I ain't got none. That's her whole thing. They know niggas be falling in love with her. Fuck that. 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 That bitch got babies, got, she got grown kids, yeah. and that nigga ain't around, or the or niggas, or whoever she had the babies with, man, that should be telling you something. You know? It's a clear fucking sign, man. You gotta keep your eye on that bitch. Or no one. You ain't gotta keep your eye on You just don't fall in love with that bitch. Yep. Because you already know she's gonna do her thing. Man. Don't set your expectations <laughs> too high. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, wake up and have a good night of sex with the bitch. Maybe I can. I can't believe it. No. No. That guy was a little bit. He was a little bit. He was a snake. He was a little bit. I hold up the scripture saying, I just love your wives. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm right, you know, just joking though. Because these women is what? These women is really not with you, man. That's the point we're trying to make. Like, if you a woman have been with you for like, what, 10, 20 years? I guess you got a wife, I guess. You know? That bitch already trespassed against me, but she is a Well, I guess she is, man. I guess she is. No, you can't forgive me. Fuck that. <laughs> yeah, because that shit's confusing, though. That's why it's called Babylon. But that's why I gave you something to use. That's why this shit's called Babylon. It's right. fucking confusing. That's why I gave me a possession to use. A possession. You know? Women are a possession. They're property. And I don't treat it like this. I treat it like I don't even give a fuck about it, man. Because you know back in the ancient world, too, when Paul wrote that, uh, women were still considered a man's property back in the day. That's right. But, now, but nowadays, the women, they, they're totally out of order. They can do whatever they want. They're no longer a man's property. Okay, now a woman's allowed to own her own property. How crazy is that? And that happened in the 1900s. Yeah, just recently. The 20th century. When the women's liberation shit started by Esau. The, the fake Jews started that shit. Right. That's crazy. Because the woman is not supposed to be uh, walking around, I don't want to say free. What's the word? She ain't supposed to be uh, doing whatever the hell she wants to do. A woman's not supposed to, not supposed to have a choice. Oh, I'm going to leave my husband. No, you you ain't supposed to have that choice. You know what I mean? The scriptures clearly say death to you. Uh, what does it say? Let me get that. Can I get it real quick? The scripture says, "I'm giving my life to live. Have liberty and freedom." 
Because you know, freedom she just goes Because there's no such thing as a, a divorce in the Bible. I'm going to read this real quick. Matthew 19 and uh, 7. They say unto him, Why did Moses did command to give a writing of divorcement to put her away? And this is the Lord himself speaking. He saved unto them, Moses, because of the hardness of your heart, suffered you to put away your wives. You all loud ass bullshit. Moses, because of the hardness of your heart, suffered you to put away your wives. But from the beginning it was not so. And I say unto you, whosoever shall put away his wife, except it be for fornication, and shall marry another, committeth adultery, and whosoever marrieth her which is put away doth commit adultery.